Hello everyone! For today's video lesson ay itutuloy natin ang discussion tungkol sa problems involving oblique triangles at igagayad ko rin kayo sa inyong assessment problem. Ito ay para sa mga grade 9, week 8, fourth quarter. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! So nandito na nga tayo sa second to the last part ng ating discussion. At maraming maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na suporta sa channel na ito. So, malapit na nga tayong matapos. Kung nakakatulong man itong mga videos na ina-upload ko, mag-comment kayo sa baba kung ano yung mga naitulong ng channel na ito sa inyo. Okay? Dito nga sa ating assessment part, solve each of the following problems. Number one, to find the distance AB across the river. A distance BC equals 354 meters is laid off on one side of the river. It is found that B equals 112 degrees and C equals 15 degrees. Find AB round to the nearest meters. So, suppose we have here triangle ABC. And then, ang given dito, yung distance daw ng BC is 354 meters. So, nandito siya. And ito yung side A natin. Kasi yun yung opposite ng angle A. And then, yung angle B is 112 degrees. Yung angle C naman is 15 degrees. Okay? So, meron tayong given na angle side. Angle, ano ang pwede natin gamitin para makuha yung side AB. Ito yung kukunin natin. Ibig sabihin, yung side C ang kukunin natin. Kasi yun yung katapat ng angle C. Ang pwede natin gamitin ay law of sines. I-identify muna natin yung mga given. Yung angle A ay unknown. Angle B naman ay 112 degrees, angle C ay 15 degrees, then side A is 354 meters. Ngayon, para makuha yung angle A, di ba, kailangan lang natin i-add yung B at yung C at isubtract natin sa 180 degrees. That is, 180 minus yung angle B which is 112 plus yung angle C naman is 15 And that is equal to 127, isubtract natin from 180, that would be 53 degrees. The measurement of angle A is 53 degrees. So, meron na tayong given na angle A at saka side A. Ngayon, paano natin makukuha yung side C? Pwede natin gamitin yung law of sines and that is sine A over A equals sine C over C. By substitution, ang angle A natin is 53 degrees, so that is sine 53, over ang side A naman natin is 354, equals sine 15 over C. Then, cross multiply, that would be equal to C times sine 53 equals 354 times sine 15. And then, para makuha natin yung C, i-divide natin both sides by sine 53. Para makancel ito, yung C na lang yung matitira. So, magiging C equals 354 sine 15 all over sine 50 rin na lang. Using your calculator, pindutin nyo lang yung 354 times sine 15. Maglagay ng parenthesis divided by sine 53 and that would be equal to 114.72. Meaning, the distance of AB across a river is 114.72 meters. So, ganun lang naman siya kasimple. Hindi naman na niya tinanong kung ano yung measurement ng B. So, hanggang dyan na lang tayo kung ano yung measurement ng side C. Okay? Then, next, number 2. The diagram shows the relative positions of Earth, Mars, and the Sun on a particular date. What is the distance between Mars and the Sun on this date? Round to the nearest million miles. Meron tayong given dito na triangles. Suppose this is angle A, this is angle B, and this is angle C. Ibig sabihin, ito ay side B, yung katapat ng angle B. Ito naman ay side C at ito ay side A. 
i-identify natin yung mga given. Ang given dito, yung angle A ay wala. And then, yung angle B naman is 169 degrees. Yung angle C is unknown din. Then, yung side A is unknown. Tapos, yung side B is 224 million miles. Yung side C naman ay 91.6 million miles. So, ano yung gagamitin natin dito? Or ano yung hahanapin natin? Distance between Mars and Sun. So, ang hahanapin natin is yung measurement ng side A. Okay? So, ano ang gagamitin natin? Since given yung B, kailangan muna natin kunin yung measurement ng angle C para makuha natin yung side A. And that is, sine C over C equals sine B over B. Bakit law of sines? Kasi meron tayong given na side, side, tapos angle. Okay? By substitution, that is sine C over, ang C natin is 91.6 equals sine ang angle B naman ay 169 over ang side B is 224. Okay? Then, cross multiply, that would be 224 times sine C equals 91.6 times sine 169. Again, para matanggal yung 224 sa katabi ni sine C, i-divide natin both sides by 224. So, dito dapat yan. 224. And then, ang matitira na lang is, sine C equals 91.6 sine 169 all over 224. Using your calculator, 91.6 times sine 169, maglagay ng parenthesis, then mag-equal kayo palagi, divided by 224 equals yan. Yan yung value niya. And then, para makuha natin yung angle C, kailangan natin kunin yung inverse sign ng numbers na to. So, para magawa yun, pindutin lang natin yung shift kung ganito yung calculator ninyo. Then, sign. Tapos, pwede ninyong pindutin yung answer basta hindi ninyo binak to zero yung sagot. At ang makukuhang sagot is 4.48 degrees. Okay? Then, nag to the nearest Hundreds. Meron na tayong angle C at meron na ring angle B. Pwede na natin makuha yung angle A. And that is 180 minus yung angle B na 169 plus yung angle C na 4.48. And then i-add natin. That would be equal to 173.48. I-subtract natin from 180. That would be equal to 6.52. So the measurement of angle A is 6.52. Ngayon, meron na tayong angle A, so pwede natin gamitin yung law of sines. And that is, sine A over A equals sine B over B para makuha natin yung measurement ng side A. By substitution, that is, sine times 6.52 over A equals sine 169 over 224. Then, cross multiply, that would be, A times sine 169 equals 224 times sine 6.52. Kahit alin naman dyan yung unahin ninyo, basta mag-cross multiply kayo. Since A yung hinahanap, kaya inuna ko na siya. Then, para makuha yung value ng A, i-divide natin both sides by sine 169. Para makancel siya, yung A na lang ang matitira. And then, ganun din dito. So, A equals... 224 times sine 6.52 all over sine 169. Using your calculator, pindutin nyo lang yung 224 times sine 6.52. Mag-equal kayo palagi. Divided by sine 169 and that would be equal to 133.30 million miles. Therefore, the distance between Mars and the Sun is 133.30 million miles. Okay? So, abangan ninyo yung susunod na video, yung part 2 ng assessment problem natin from number 3 to 5. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, mag-comment kayo sa baba at pakishare na rin sa mga classmates ninyo para malaman nila. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!